أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله نحمده تعالى ونستهديه ونستغفره وأعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهدي الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له ولا تجد له وليا مرشدا وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله Holy praise is due to Allah We praise him and we seek help from him We ask forgiveness from him We repent to him and we seek refuge to him from our own evils and our own bad deeds Anyone who is guided by Allah, he is indeed guided. And anyone who has been left astray will find no one to guide him. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, the only one without any partner. And I bear witness that Muhammad وسلم, is his servant and his messenger. My Brothers and sisters in Islam, have you asked you as you said this question? What's my purpose in this life? What's my goal in this life? Own a company, have a money, what's your purpose? Now my football entitled of scoring goals and sitting goals. Here we have an example like football. Football fever is all around of us these days. And those who know the game will tell you that it's all about scoring goals. Our football today is also about goals, but different kind of goals. I want us to think about the goals we all strive for, we all looking for throughout life, our lifetime goals. Now we, think we are here in Taiwan from different countries from many cultures and we speak different languages and our parents have come from many different parts of the world yet I am sure each one of us is likely to have some burning ambition some clear objectives or ideas that drive us forward through each day it may be a deadline for our homework or coursework it may be a forthcoming exam or Taekwondo, Karate, grading session, or maybe working towards a particular career that we want to first after leaving school. Maybe after leaving school, we are looking to find a job or something. Consciously or subconsciously, we all have short-term, medium or long-term goals, which we hope to achieve before our life is over. The difference from soccer is that in real life, no one knows when the final whistle will blow. No one knows just how, when and where our life will end. Muslims are reminded to live each day as is the last day of this life, and to pray. Every prayer as is the last day of this life. We must therefore be totally focused and sincere in what we do. In order to achieve any goal, there is nearly always an economic dimension. We need to get things done. No matter how noble or generous we want to be, we still need some degree of financial independence for ourselves. In order to get what we want, this is simply in the nature of things. So, if I need to have a car, I need money, I need to work to have a car. I can't get a car or a house or anything without working. We, we may not want to be wealthy just for own sake, to show off and live flash, flashy lifestyle. Just, okay, I have a car, I want to show, show off, oh, I have cars, I have house, just for show off. But in order to be more effective in society, we must be able to stand on our own feet financially. Therefore, we need to work to earn money to do what we would like to do. The danger 
is that the means can can sometimes become the end in itself. How many young people have not set out in life with high ideas of making the world a better place for all of us, only to be distracted along along the way? How many young have not become mere consumer, just a consumer for things, buying all the latest fashionable clothes, enjoying all the material pleasure of life, and forgetting that their life should really have a higher and nobler purpose. Many people work hard, get rich, and look back with a sense of pride in what they have achieved. It's a human. That pride then drives them to more effort than brings more will than it brings more pride and so on. But all the success is in English. If one does not aspire, then he don't have ambition to a higher and nobler objective. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah Ali Imran verse 14. And he reminds us زُيَّنِ لِلنَّاسِ حُبُّ الشَّهَوَاتِ مِنَ النِّسَاءِ وَالْبَنِينَ وَالْقَرَاطِيرَ الْمُقَنْطَرَ مِنَ الذَّهَبِ وَالْفِضَّةِ وَالْخَيْلِ الْمُسَوَّمَةِ وَالْأَنْعَامِ وَالْحَرْبِ ذَلِكَ مَتَاعُ الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا وَاللَّهُ عِنْدَهُ حَسْنُ الْمَآبِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us here Care in the eyes of men is the love of things they covet They look at things and they like it You like some things not for your own Women and sons, head up the power of gold and silver. We need to get gold and silver. Horses branded before they like to have horses, but now, okay, maybe we, we can say cars for blood and excellence. And wealth of cattle and wealth tied land, they like to have more land. Such are the possessions of this world's life. But in the earnest to Allah is the best of the goals to, re to return to. If you want to be close to Allah, just pray to good deeds. This is this is what we will have in the in the end of this life. Allah wants us to enjoy the fruits and our hard work. He wants us to work hard and enjoy a nice car, a nice home, in a nice neighborhood. But not so much as to distract us from worshiping Him. Some religious teach that in order to grow spiritually, you must deny yourself. You must cut your hair, like Buddhism. You must be in the church, like in Christianity. You may have to spend time in a more, spend time there, or become Zahid, a city. Islam is a unique among all religions in that it teaches life fulfillment, not life denial. Islam teaches that the words of the body and the spirit should lie in a harmony, not a conflict. In our daily prayer, we say, Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana, wa fi al-akharati hasana, wa qina adab al Oh my Lord, please grant me the best of this world, and the best of the hereafter, and save me from the torment of the fire. We have to get our word, our family, our home, our community, and later balance right. Many of us came to Taiwan from other places to study, to work, to have a better life. They have made a kind of hijra or migration, like hijra of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, migrated from Mecca to Medina. That first hijra was for survival, because his life was in danger. We must make sure that our migration to Taiwan was not just for a better life for ourselves and for our families. We must make sure our presence in Taiwan in a beautiful country will be a benefit to everyone around us. Our country has a problems of delinquency, failed marriage, drug and alcohol abuse, we can and we should be working to put things right. We should do good things, good inspiration, cool goodness of what Islam can offer to the modern life world. That 
should be our intention. When hadith narrated by Sayyidina Umar ibn Khattab says, إِنَّمَا الْأَعْمَالُ بِالنِّيَّاتِ وَإِنَّمَا لِكُلِّ مْرِئٍ مَا نَوَى فَمَنْ كَانَتْ هِجْرَتُهُ إِلَى اللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ هِجْرَتُهُ إِلَى اللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ وَمَنْ كَانَتْ هِجْرَتُهُ إِلَى دُنْيَا يُصِيبُهَا أَوْ مْرَأَةٍ يَنْكِهُهَا فَهِجْرَتُهُ إِلَى مَا هَاجَرَ إِلَيْهِ The meaning of this hadith, actions are judged by their intention and everyone shall have only what he intended. Therefore, he who, who migrated for Allah and his messenger, his migration was for Allah and his messenger. And he whose migration was to achieve some worldly benefit or to take some woman in marriage, his migration would be judged that for which he intended. My dear brothers and sisters, let us dedicate ourselves to the service of Allah. Whether we came here to study, to work, to run a business, or to enjoy a better life in general, let us make sure that our daily concerns only focus on improving our spiritual life, make the hijrah, the migration, from what pleases us to what pleases Allah. It means, in essence, that we must aim to rise above our selfishness, our vanity, and self, just care about ourselves. We must try to fulfill, to fulfill the purpose which Allah decreed for us, which Allah drew it for us, which is to be His Khalifa, His ambassador on, on, uh, on life. إِنَّ اللَّهَ وَمَلَائِكَتَهُ يُصَلُّونَ عَلَى النَّبِيِّ يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا صَلُّوا عَلَيْهِ وَسَلِّمُوا تَسْلِيمًا اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد وأستغفر الله لي ولكم أستغفره سبحان الله والحمد لله ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم All glory is for Allah All praise is for Allah There is no power and no strength except from Allah Dear brothers and sisters let us all try to make our words in life well balanced and pleasing to Allah Azza wa Jal. Allah told His angels that He created us so that we can be His ambassadors on this life, on this earth. Remember, you are all ambassadors Khalifa of Islam. As young students, your immediate goal is to do well at school so that you can do in life generally after you leave the school. All the time you are being observed by others and your behavior is how people will judge all Muslims. Here you don't represent yourself, you present your country, you present Islam. If you do something wrong, this oh that's Muslim. I think all the Muslims will do the same thing. So here you don't represent yourself, you present your country, you represent Islam. So try to show how beautiful the Islam is. Here are a few tips to bear in mind. Islam teaches purity and cleaning in body, mind and spirit. Summer is coming. The days are hot. We all sweat. And it can be not good to be near someone whose body or clothes are not clean. Make sure always have a bath or shower every day and wear clean clothes every day. Islam teaches excellence. Don't be satisfied with majority, just a medium. Just giving your minimum effort and getting average with us. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and his noble companions, the Sahaba, were not average people. They strive, they are looking for to be excellent human beings. They became role models for people throughout history. They were the best Khalifa for Islam. We must study their lives for inspiration. We must work hard and do well. We must try to be the best at what we do in school subjects, habits or sport. Choose your friends wisely. Avoid bad, bad company. And do not be shy about being different. Prophet Muhammad said, 
if you spend 40 days in someone's company, you became like you become like him. Make sure you spend time with people who are a good influence on you. I will end this khutbah with a dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Oh my Lord, do not let us, do not let our hearts be hidden from the truth now that we have been guided. But grant us mercy from your very presence. For you are the giver of khairat, of good deeds, of good things without measure. ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد أن هديتنا واهدنا واتنا من لدنك رحمة إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم تقبل دعائنا واغفر لنا اللهم تقبل منا أعمالنا في هذا الشهر الكريم ربنا إنك إنك تغفر الذنوب فاغفر لنا ذنوبنا في هذا الشهر العظيم وآخر دعوانا الحمد لله وآخر الصلاة